Hello and Academians, this is me Vignesh NP and I'm here to present the 8th lesson of class 11th biology and it will be on cell, the unit of life. So this is about me, my name is Vignesh NP, teaching is my passion, I love hearing music and learning something new. You can follow me at an academy by hitting the link below. So introduction would be actually presence of cell in living organisms make it living that is cell is the fundamental structural and functional unit of life cells vary in their shape size and functions an overview of cell that is if i had to give you an overview of cell it would be that cells that have membrane bound nucleus are called eukaryotic and cells that lack a membrane bound nuclei are called prokaryotic and this figure gives in details cytoplasm is a semi fluid matrix which occupies the volume of cell that is this part and organelles are specialized structures which you can see here inside a living cell prokaryotic cells prokaryotic cells are represented by bacteria blue green algae mycoplasma and pplo that is pleuro pneumonia like organisms pplo they do not have well defined nucleus and they have a specialized form of cell membrane called mesosomes and it is its characteristic you can see the mesosome here and these are this is a typical prokaryotic cell with no well-defined nucleus you can see it here now we'll go on about eukaryotic cell eukaryotes include all the protists plants animals and fungi do you remember the five kingdom yeah the four kingdoms out of that are eukaryotes that is protists plants animals and fungi eukaryotic cells consist of cell membrane nucleus and cytoplasm plant cells have a cell wall outside the cell membrane they have an extra layer called cell wall so you can see the difference between an animal and plant cell in detail given in this figure refer it okay now we uh, plasma membrane is a selectively permeable and permeable membrane and facilitates transports of several molecules you can see the plasma membrane here and the detailed structure now we will talk about the endomembrane system so what is the endomembrane system it is that all of the organelles are considered together as an endomembrane system because their functions are coordinated you know that the organelles inside a cell are their functions are coordinated so we call them an endomembrane system it includes the endoplasmic reticulum Golgi complex, lysosomes, and vacuoles. Now we'll talk about each, each of them. First, we'll talk about the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum, or commonly known as ER, contains tubules or systeme, which you can see here. They, there are of two types: rough and smooth. This is the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum helps in transport of substance, synthesis of proteins, lipoproteins, and glycogen. Of talking about the Golgi body, Golgi body is a membranous organelle composed of flattened sacs. You can see see this sacs here, and it is a membranous organelle. Lysosomes are single membrane structure containing enzymes for digestion of several biomolecules you can see enzymes here and these help in digestion ribosomes are involved in protein synthesis these are the ribosomes now we'll talk about mitochondria mitochondria helps in oxidative phosphorylation which you will learn about in detail later and generation of atp or adenosine triphosphate they have a double membrane that is you can see here it's an inner membrane and an outer membrane inner membrane the outer membrane is a smooth one and inner membrane 
is one which folds into several cristae, which is this thing you see right here. Plastids. Plastids are pigment containing organelles found in plant cell only. Grana is the site of light reaction, which you can see here, and stroma is the site of dark reactions. You can see the different types of the plastids here and chloroplast here. These are green colored plastids and are seen in plants and it contains the chlorophyll. Okay. Nucleus. Nucleus contains nucleoli, which you can see here, and chromatin network. Nucleoli and chromatin networks. It not only controls activities of organelles, it is the control unit, controlling unit that you know, but also plays a major role in heredity. Okay. And it is enclosed in a nuclear envelope, which you can see right here. So the homework this time would be to read about the cell theory, learn about, learn more about the cell wall and study about centrosomes and centrioles. So please rate, review and recommend my courses so that we can carry on this education revolution on an academy. Thank you. Thank you all.